Hi, I'm Bob, and welcome to Between the Sheets, where we look at Microsoft Excel and related technologies. The sum product function lets you reduce the number of columns you need in a worksheet so your sheets can be less cluttered. Like the name sounds, sum product adds and multiplies two cell ranges in one shot. So let's take a look and see how it works. First, let's look at the function syntax. It's pretty straightforward. Say equals sum product, and in the parenthesis, we have the first range that we're multiplying and adding, and the second argument is the second range that we are multiplying and adding. That's really it. First, I'll show you an example of a worksheet before you use sum product, so you'll see the type of complexity it reduces for you. So on this worksheet, we're going to do it sort of the long way. So you can see we have a bunch of coffees we're selling and their price per pound listed down column B. In columns C, D, and E, we have the number of pounds sold and we're going to multiply them out and get the totals and that's what's going to happen in columns F, G, and H. So let's start there and I'm going to start with B5 and I'm going to apply a mixed reference, not fully absolute, not fully relative, but a mixed reference to the cell so that I can autofill across and down. I need the rows to update as I fill down, but I don't want column B to change when I fill across. So I'm going to take that B5 and using the F4 function key, or function F4 function key, and I'm going to change that so that is $B5. So you notice there's a dollar before the column B, but there is no dollar sign before the 5. Multiply that by January pound sold. I press control enter or command return on the Mac. So I get that. And now I fill across and I double click the autofill dot to fill down. Now we've got to add all this stuff up. Nice little trick here. If you don't already know it is select all that. Notice I've got the bottom row is where the totals are going to go. And now I hit the auto sum tool. Boom. And now we have our totals. So that's all okay, and it works, but it's more work than necessary, and the sheet needs seven columns to do it. Now let's use the sum product function to streamline the whole thing. So I'm going to go to the next worksheet tab. Notice this worksheet is a lot smaller. So let me put in the formula. I'm going to say equals sum product. I'll just tab to fill in the rest, and I'm going to select all the way down column B, and I'm going to make this whole thing fully absolute. So I've got dollar signs before both columns, dollar signs before both rows, comma, and now column C, and this needs to be completely relative. So I close the parenthesis, so I enter that, grab the autofill dot, and I fill straight across, and there we go. So you see we have the same results that we did in the previous worksheet, but this is more streamlined, it's a smaller worksheet, and easier to deal with. What's nice is some product works everywhere, in the Windows, Mac, and web editions of Excel, and also in Google Sheets. So until next time, my name is Bob, and this has been Between the Sheets.